Thank you very much. And um, heads of financial regulatory institutions, the CEO of the Uganda Institute of uh, ba uh, Banking and Financial Services, Executive Secretary, Uganda Bankers Association, CEOs of financial services providers, development partners, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. Before I go to my written remarks, I just want to thank the staff of um, Uganda City of Banking and Financial Services for that for that uh, drama play that they, they presented. That was very, very informative. Very, very informative. So, you call it Quata Chikapo, Sula Cavera, and uh, Saving. Something on that sort. It's very, very important. So, I think it links exactly to what we're talking about. And I will mention it in uh, my remarks. So, today is the annual World Savings Day and is commemorated on 31st of October, like we're doing today. On this day, um, savers are encouraged to transfer their nest eggs from the pots at home to the formal financial institutions, including fintechs. Today, the Bank of Uganda, the Uganda Institute of Banking and Financial Services, the Uganda Bankers Association, financial sector regulatory institutions, financial service providers, development partners, and other stakeholders are jointly here and they have um, invited all savers to entrust their money with the regulatory financial institutions. Savings are very precious because they are hard earned. Savings are valuable because they are a lifetime on a rainy date. Savings, when accumulated, are a power and must be guarded jealously by all those who are taking savings taking institutions. So they have to be guarded from all kinds of risks. I will get back to that later. So the question I have is, would you rather save in a clay pot that cracks easily or in a secure vault in a bank? Can your money grow in a mattress or in a saving financial institution that pays interest on savings? Does putting money in a hole in the ground or a box in a roof offer protection from rodents, fire, and the flooding or in a bank account that deposit protection fund insurance? So sacrificing and delaying gratification by saving your hard-earned money but then keeping it in a house in a pot, in a mattress, or in a hole in the ground, is like taking one step forward and two steps behind. It is, it is a futile endeavor that is full of risks. So, to promote a culture of savings in a formal financial institutions, the first International Savings Bank Congress established the World Savings Day on 31st of October 1924 and Uganda joining this annual commemoration in 2016. For this year, we mark the World Savings Day under the theme, Start Small, Grow Big, Be Green Smart, to inspire the accumulation of savings while preserving the environment. Saving money for future goals and protecting the environment are complementary aspects of sustainability. And just as the time to save money is when one has some, however small the amount, every little step to reduce the carbon emission matters, however global the climate risk. Timely and sustainable savings is a small start. The financial sector is developing a vibrant green finance ecosystem 
by harnessing technology and innovation to build markets and solutions for transitioning to a low carbon future. We also aim to empower people with effective knowledge and capabilities to save money and access other financial services while minimizing their carbon footprint. For example, savers can access financial services such as savings, investment, payments, insurance, loans through the mobile phone platform without traveling long distances to fiscal, brick, and motor branches of financial institutions, using, moreover using carbon-emitted vehicles, border borders, you name them. So, Mona, you, you talk something which is at the heart of the central bank. The strategic plan of Bank of Uganda for the years 2022 to 2027 is institutionalizing environmental, social sustainability, and governance standards. And why are we emphasizing that? The savings that have been hardly, you know, hard mobilized need to be used in an effective manner, in a manner that protects the environment, that ensures social sustainability, that ensures that the governance standards do not only create value for the stakeholders, but also create value for the society. So, Mona, what you described really is at the heart of the central bank's uh, strategic plan for 2022 to 2027. So I think we are going to have a deeper conversation on that. So it is therefore incumbent on the financial sector to build and extend affordable and user-friendly green financial solutions to the underserved and the small earners nationwide. Our work is clearly well cut out because the Financial Capability Survey 2020 showed that only 15% of the Ugandans save their money in a deposit-taking financial institution regulated by Bank of Uganda. Now, of course, the other regulators here would need to hear more about those ratios that in the institutions that they regulate. While only 17% of their funds, um, while only 17% save this money on their funds, using the mobile money platform. Up to 44% of our people rely on village savings and loan associations, and 42% resort to saving boxes at home. So these are the guys we need to bring into the ecosystem. We urge every stakeholder to build an inclusive, vibrant, vibrant and a safe green finance ecosystem that will crowd in all those saving money at home. So ladies and gentlemen, the Bank of Uganda partners and stakeholders have planned several commemorative activities for the World Savings Day 2022. The activities include radio programs, a savings challenge running from November 2022 to November 2023, where everyone is encouraged to use formal financial savings products linked to specific goals. Dedication of November as an annual banking and financial services month and public webinars on savings and financial literacy, among others. So I want to thank all our partners and stakeholders for joining hands to commemorate this year's edition of the World Savings Day. And we urge everyone to move their savings from pots, boxes, mattresses to regulated financial institutions for safety and accumulation through compound interest. When I was still a student, that time I was doing my uh, master's degree, so we were tackling the topic on savings. So the professor started by making a quote from someone. This guy was called James Loftus, who said, quote, The squirrel knows that winter, you know, winter is freezing cold, often with snow covering the ground. 
the scripture knows that winter will arrive. So what does it do? It prepares for times when resources become scarce. If they have two nuts, they'll keep one aside. So he said, shouldn't we humans who are a bit smarter than squirrels understand that the winter of life events will likely arrive at some point and prepare as well? This is a question for you. Now, I also pray a lot. And my pastor one time quoted Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. And I'm using the New International Version. It says, A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. But a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. So, on this World Savings Day, let us be smart, smarter than a squirrel, to understand that winter days, such as the COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns, will come in life. Let us be good to save for our grandchildren, and let us be righteous by leaving a legacy of endowment for the future generations. So, let's be smart and start saving today. Having said that, there are of course some risks that we need to guard against, particularly for those that are taking our savings. And as a central bank, we ensure that all those saving taking or deposit taking institutions right, have in place sound, robust risk management frameworks in place to safeguard your deposits. And even when they lend them out, we ensure that their credit policies to a large extent minimize the crystallization of risks that are associated with lending. And even as we move into the technology world and there are some issues that are associated with that technology, where some people might be saving their money, the aspects of cyber security enhancements have got to be strengthened and the central bank together with all the partners in in the sector are working towards ensuring that we have those robust uh, cyber security enhancements because the system can only be as strong as the weakest link. So that's what we are working on. So finally, let us remember that money only makes the world go around when deposited in a formal financial institution and some fintechs that take some of these savings. It can only mold when buried in a hole in the ground. So I urge all of you to visit a regulated financial institution and start saving today. On that note, I wish you all a fruitful World Savings Day 2022. I thank you for listening to me and may the good Lord bless all of you.